So I got this message loud and clear, this rising after meditation or actually during meditation that there's going to be people or there there are people who do this to you they value your opinion they value your insight they value your skill or whatever you do and because of this and you cut them off but because of this that they value you so much but they're afraid to admit it they will hit you up or try to contact you from anonymous numbers or you know bot accounts or accounts that have no pictures or no content and um, they will try to get advice from you under the guise of another personality so to speak you know what I mean so be very wary and mindful of this because because you are so insightful you are so intelligent you are so grounded they have no one else in their life to go to for this type of good advice so they come to you under the guise of someone else and it's not like you got fooled you didn't get fooled because your heart is pure so you're going to give advice to people you're going to help people but you might have noticed like the way they're texting or the way they're delivering their questions or even their messages remind you of the energy of someone else and you are very quickly able to discern oh this seems like either you knew for sure that they were just you know not being truthful or they were um basically not being truthful or acting like someone else you knew that they weren't being 100% honest but you couldn't put your finger on it but the reason why they do this is because your advice and your energy is top tier this is another way that they can practice their energy vampirism, <laughs> being energy vampires. Because when you have an exchange with someone, whether it be on the phone, whether it be through text, whether it be through social media, whether it be in person, that person gets a little bit of your essence, you know, a little bit of your sauce, so to speak. So you have to be aware of these fake interactions, people masquerading as, you know, clients or people masquerading as you know people needing help if you, even if you have a service that you offer people will literally set up fake appointments with you or you know if you do hair makeup nails um, any kind of beauty industry any kind of self-help industry um, if you even if you own the business they'll call your business just to have that interaction with you just to have the interaction they can even make up a fake scenario just to have the interaction with you that's how sick and bothered they are at the same time sick and bothered they're bothered because you cut them off and they're sick in the head to not even work in their own energy so they can get like you or get close to like you you know what i'm saying but they can never get like you but you know to get on the right path like you they rather do that be fake and keep perpetuating this fraud than to actually do the work so it don't matter what you do they can like for instance prank calls perfect example thank you spirit even prank calls where they call you and don't say shit that's another they don't want to hear your voice they want to hear your voice talking to them specifically they don't give a goddamn <laughs> what they're talking about or what they got to say as long as they have an interaction with you they're fiending for interaction with you the karmics are fiending for interaction with you